Today, I'm in the 2016 Model S. I'm Raf, and I'm excited. The reason I'm excited is because of that software update. It is, what's today? January 13th, 2017. I'm hoping for autopilot. That's what I really want. Unplug it. What are you wondering? I still have her. I'm gonna be driving her today. But Tesla is gonna get parked up there and get the update. Here it goes. Install now is come on autopilot come on summon those are honestly my favorite features that uh tesla's supposed to have okay it's been a couple hours now so cool update what do you need Thing. finally enhanced autopilot forward collision warning Traffic aware cruise control. I'm very excited to have that. And low speed auto steer. You guys can pause the video wherever you want to read something. There's points in time when you have to take control of the car. Okay. Auto steer active. Version 8.0, 2.50.201. Wait, it's Friday the 13th. Auto steer, let's uh, leave it off just to get an idea. And let's go for a drive. Are you guys. Uh... It says that the uh, manual driving is required because the camera, the camera is calibrating. I got the autopilot update, but it doesn't work yet. I need to calibrate the camera, whatever that means. I'm hoping it just means uh, drive it around for it to figure out what its readings are. With uh... Anyway, I'm going to research that, figure out exactly what it means to calibrate. But uh, I'm going to drive the car around today and see if it works. But I'm excited. Here we go, day one with the new autopilot. So really you can engage it, to engage it you flick it once backwards, and it'll choose your maximum speed. And it does not do red lights, so at a red light you have to come to your own stop. Gonna engage autopilot. So 40 miles per hour, that is a posted speed limit. We're approaching a car, which you can see. That's the car by itself. I'm not using any pedals. Now we can wait here. That's the car by itself. I'm not using any pedals. Now we can wait here. See the blue 40 max is still there. That means since I haven't touched the brake pedal, the car is still waiting just for traffic to move. As soon as the lead car moves, we will increase the speed up to 40. So that's your basic uh, radar based uh, cruise control that most other cars have. Of course, I, ha I still have to steer the steer the wheel. Yeah, even though they're getting further ahead of us, I yeah. If I try to give it the. this 
slower Camry. And I'm going to ask the car to do 45. So we'll get to... There's a little selector here on the side where you can choose your following distance. So of course if I bring it down to 1, we'll get real close. Bring it up to 4, we should start to back off. So we're coming up to a red light. The car in front of me is decelerating. He's applied the brakes now. I have yet to apply the brakes. My feet are still flat on the ground. We're coming to a gentle stop behind them. I'm still, of course, steering the wheel. As for my first day of playing with autopilot, I concluded, included a couple things. First, let me cover this. Let me explain to you guys how... I was having a great time. No, I was not having a great time. <laughs> An audiobook starting up. But yes, uh, just like the book said, you know what? I was having a great time. Uh, it's fun to play with, but this is what I really... I should have read it, but before starting to play with it. Under low speed auto steer, by low speed it means less less than 35. Where did I read that? Yeah, available but only below 35 miles per hour. I'm gonna keep searching for that road that allows the auto steer icon to come up, or hopefully they release uh, another software update where that 35 miles per hour gets raised up to maybe 55. You know, I don't... I, I can't uh, justify being on the freeway going 35 miles per hour. Maybe if I get stuck in traffic, I'll give it a shot. But hope you enjoyed it. And uh, that video on auto steer is coming soon.